Good morning. On behalf of the New Jersey Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation, I'd like to welcome you all to our annual Memorial Day ceremony. Although we can't be together like we normally are for this event, we are grateful to be able to commemorate this important day with all of you virtually, and we look forward to gathering together on site at the memorial again very soon. The history of Memorial Day can be traced back to the years following the end of the Civil War. Each year, Americans across the country gather together in springtime and remember those who lost their lives in the service of our country. Memorial Day was declared a federal holiday in 1971 and is celebrated every year on the last Monday in May. We continue this tradition as we honor the brave men and women who sacrificed their lives to protect our rights and defend our freedoms. Today, we honor ordinary men and women who acted in an extraordinary way with selfless service, honor, integrity, and courage. Ordinary men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice. Today's ceremony will begin with a performance of the national anthem by Allie Gleason, followed by our keynote with New Jersey Interim Adjutant General, Colonel Dr. Lisa Howe. Thank you again for joining us today and enjoy the ceremony. Today we commemorate the second Memorial Day observed in a world changed by the COVID-19 global pandemic. The world may be different, but our sacred duty to honor those who have made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of the United States remains unchanged. Memorial Day is a time to reflect and remember those Americans who, in the words of President Abraham Lincoln, gave the last full measure of devotion. And while we pay respect to our heroes who gave their lives in battle, I also ask that you pause and join me in remembering those veterans whom we have lost to the pandemic. Soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and Coast Guardsmen who survived bullets and bombs in places like the Mekong Delta and Saigon have lost their lives at rates higher than others. We mourn them and say a prayer for their families. President Lincoln also put into words a universal truth, that nothing we do on this or any day can fully honor our country's fallen heroes. Rather, it is our job to dedicate ourselves to the unfinished work of advancing freedom and protecting the American way of life. And so, on this Memorial Day, we remember those service members who gave their lives in the service of the United States, our heroes who remain missing in action, and our Gold Star families who bear a daily and difficult burden. May God bless them today and every day, and may he continue to bless the great state of New Jersey and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Howe. During the past year of uncertainty, it has been important that we not lose sight of our mission to recognize the valor of New Jersey's veterans and the sacrifices of their families and communities. The foundation remains committed to sharing the experiences of the Vietnam War era and its enduring legacy with future generations. We now hear from some of our Vietnam veteran volunteers, the very heart and soul of all we do at the New Jersey Vietnam Veterans Memorial Foundation, as they share with us what Memorial Day means to them. After the Civil War in 1868, a lot of the villages and towns near the cemeteries would go out and decorate each grave with flowers and a small flag. And a tradition started. It carried on over the years. And after World War I, they decided we can include all combat veterans who died in the war. We will honor them on Decoration Day. 
Then along came World War II and it was changed to Memorial Day. And in 1971, it became a federal holiday. Growing up in a small town, every Memorial Day, we'd all go down to the main street. I was small enough where I could still sit on the curb and watch the parade come by. Veterans groups would place wreaths at the World War I Memorial and they would march farther up through town to the next memorial for World War II and place a wreath at that memorial. And that one has since been expanded to include the Vietnam era. The Memorial Day was just a tradition and it's a sad tradition. I think that Memorial Day is one of the misunderstood holidays this country has. Most people really in the general public don't know what it means. For instance, a lot of my friends and relatives and acquaintances, knowing that I'm a veteran, say happy Memorial Day, which to me sounds like a silly thing to tell somebody on such a solace day. Growing up, I really found the meaning of Memorial Day because I was named after an uncle who died in World War II. And him and my aunt were married two weeks before he died. He was younger than most people that went into World War II, so he didn't go into World War II till 1945. And just at the end of the war, the victory in Europe took place and he had to fly overseas to the Pacific. He served in the army and within two weeks after they got married, uh, he was killed. And so Memorial Day, in my family meant something special. My aunt gave me a ring of his that she gave him when he went away, and I still wear it today on my finger. It always reminds me every day I put it on. That's what Memorial Day means to me. Memorial Day is a very solemn day for me. I live in Northwest New Jersey in a very small community. And each year we go around and we place American flags on the 380 veterans buried in our three cemeteries. I'm also the coordinator for our Memorial Day service, so I always have to read the names and it's very solemn to read the names of the three individuals from Washington Township. Dean Everett Fields was a Marine killed in World War II. John Winderberry was killed in Vietnam and Jamie Smith was in my Boy Scout troop and he also is pictured in Black Hawk Down. He has a lot of significance in our township. We go to the schools and talk about him. And when you go to the schools, they really don't know the meaning of what Memorial Day is. It's more or less a three-day weekend, the unofficial start of summer. And for us veterans, particularly who are involved in combat situations, it's a very solemn day. It's just a time for us all to reflect back on the just incredible dedication that the men and women gave for our country and also for other countries. To me, Memorial Day is a day and a time to honor and remember those men and women in the military who sacrificed their lives to protect the freedoms of all Americans despite their political and social environment and the way the country is today. They performed their duties without question and ultimately gave their lives. Memorial Day is a time to pray, reflect, and a time with all citizens should listen, think about those who sacrifice. It's a time of all Americans to seriously think and honor those. I um, hope today that people will believe that Memorial Day is really a sacred time to think about those Americans who sacrifice their lives, fighting for our privileges and our freedoms, and honor those souls and spirits of those who passed away. Late 90s, my daughter was going to school at American University in D.C. It was the first time I had been down to the Vietnam War in, in Washington. I just felt overcome with emotion. It was my generation on that wall, and there's one place in the corner Sometimes a man will get a little weather worn. So I took out a handkerchief. This one man looked like it needed to be cleaned. So I started cleaning it off of my handkerchief. Woman behind me started crying. And I turned around and she said, that's my son's name you're cleaning off. From that point on, I lost it for the rest of the time I was down there. And then Memorial Day really sunk in to me as meaning that all gave some, but some gave all. And those people whose names were on the wall, who we was commemorating their lives and the lives that they gave for our freedoms and for our American way of life. What does Memorial Day mean to me? It's a time for me to reflect on all those who died uh, in the military while serving on active duty. I also think about the several visits I've made to the Arlington National Cemetery, 
that always is on my mind on Memorial Day. All the heroes that are there, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It's also a time to reflect on people that I knew. We unfortunately suffered a mortar attack on the 2nd of March of 1969 in Dong Tam, Vietnam, 9th Division Base Camp. And we lost six people from, from my unit in that night. And finally, it's very personal. Uh, as I said, not just those in Arlington, perhaps I obviously didn't know but almost all of them, but certainly there are others like uh, Kurt Embry, a very good friend of mine who served basically the same time I did in Vietnam, but extended for six months after I left and unfortunately was killed uh, during that extension. So that's some of the things Memorial Day means to me. Thank you, gentlemen. And thank you again for your service and welcome home. Next, we are joined by our museum educator, Carrie Giannotti. Carrie is a full-time teacher at Bloomfield High School, and this year marks her fifth anniversary leading the foundation's educational programming. She is joined by two of her Bloomfield alumni to share the powerful poem, Hallowed Ground, by Dr. Rudolph O. Fager. Their reading is followed by our virtual wreaths processional. Thank you to all of our partners in this year's virtual wreath laying. Dr. Rudolph O. Fager, a Bloomfield, New Jersey native, served during World War II. He was stationed with the 94th Evacuation Hospital on the Anzio Beachhead in Italy. This beachhead was about three miles long and half a mile wide and has been described as one of the worst locations of the entire war. After the beachhead had been secured and before the final move along the road to Rome, he visited the graves of those young men who had been responsible for this major victory. He wrote the following poem inspired by the awesome sight of the white crosses over which hung the identifying dog tags, his tribute to those young men who remained forever at Anzio. After the war, he served as chief of staff at Mountainside Hospital in Montclair, New Jersey. His poem, Hollowed Ground, will be read by two Bloomfield High School alumni, Liam Magna Cavello and David Matthew Sheldon. Sergeant Magna Cavello served honorably in the United States Marine Corps. Sergeant Shelton is currently serving in the Marine Tactical Air Command Squadron 38 in San Diego. I walked on hallowed ground today, miss earthy mounds each with a cross. I read a name as I passed by of someone's dear one, someone's loss. I knelt upon this foreign soil, my heart was heavy, sore indeed, to think that here lies someone's son because of hate and lust and greed. And as I knelt, I seemed to hear a voice come whispering through the clay, so low, so soft, and yet as clear as dawning light at break of day. My friend, it said, grieve not for me, no sorrow, no, no bitter tears. The giving of our lives has made our victory yours for future years. What more can mortal man desire? What cherished goal can life attain? The joy of living and in dying, knowing this, to live again. You who must see another day would banish fear and want and strife. Let love thy neighbor fill your heart and be the goal to guide your life. On bended knee, my faith was sure. This shrine of earth, a cross, a name. This lad, his comrades, countless more. They truly have not died in vain. I, I rose and left, left that, that sacred, sacred spot. spot. Lighthearted Light back, back to camp, camp I trod. These men, forever on parade, their victory to live with God. Thank you again for joining us today. The New Jersey Vietnam Veterans Memorial commemorates the loss of the 1,563 brave New Jerseyans who made the ultimate sacrifice serving in the Vietnam War. Standing before the black granite panels, you can feel the weight of these lives cut too short as you look into your own reflection in the stone. The foundation works tirelessly to ensure that each of these individuals is never forgotten. We work to carry their stories forward from the hearts of their family and friends who will forever feel their loss. This year, 23 panels have been adopted by members of our community, sharing the stories of the 132 New Jerseyans honored on those panels. 
132 glimpses into the lives of these brave men and women lost too soon in service to our country and in defense of our allies, reminding us that freedom is not free. Their sacrifice, along with so many others in our armed forces, will never be forgotten. Your unwavering support and generosity throughout the year has made it possible for us to weather these challenging times. From everyone at the Foundation, thank you for your support and thank you for joining us today. We invite you to take the time to visit the New Jersey Vietnam Veterans Memorial to pay respects to those who lost their lives in the Vietnam War. And we look forward to welcoming you back to the Vietnam Era Museum starting June 10th. Please visit our website at www.njvvmf.org for more information about our reopening. I now welcome Reverend Gerard Appel, NJVVMF Office Manager, for our closing benediction, followed by a performance of TAPS by JROTC Master Chief Jacob Cook. Thank you. Let us pray. As we remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms we enjoy every day. Lord God, hold our servicemen and women in your strong arms. Cover them with your sheltering grace and your presence as they stand in your protection. God, lift the hearts of those for whom this holiday is not just a diversion, but a painful memory and continued deprivation. We remember the families of our troops. We ask for your unique blessings to fill their homes. And we pray your peace, provision, and strength will fill their lives. We remember with compassion those who have died serving their countries in combat. We believe that the Lord will provide for us as others have been provided. With the fulfillment of blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. May the members of our armed forces be supplied with courage to face each day and may they trust in the Lord's mighty power to accomplish each task. Let our military brothers and sisters feel our love and support. God bless them, and God bless the United States of America. Amen. <laughs>